morning and welcome to day 12 of our 28 days of seeing Jesus. I, I hope you're experiencing God in this. I hope just the focus, spending time with Jesus is helping. Hope hope you had some coffee this morning. Uh, I, I hope you've read your scriptures. Today we're going to be in uh, Matthew chapter 12 and uh, Jesus is talking about how our words determine what's inside of us. Also, it determines what we have been focusing on, what we choose to see with our eyes. Our words are so powerful, and Jesus knows this. And he says in verse 37, For by your words you will be justified, and by your words you will be condemned. Now, of course, we understand what the requirements for salvation are, right? So we understand that. We're not, we're not changing that. However, Jesus is making reference to the power of, that are in our words. There's power in the words that you speak today, both words that build up your life and words that tear down your life. Words that bring value to other people, words that devalue other people. Watch this. Words that bring your life into what you're called to do and words that withhold you from what you're called to do. And Jesus says, listen, I have given you power in your words. And so the question I have for you and I today is, if there are power in our words, why not use that power today to change our lives? If Jesus said, look, I give you all this power to determine who you are and what you're going to become and what the future will look like and the value that's on the inside of you, it's all based on the words you choose. That may be an oversimplification, but what, what if it's not? What if we really have that kind of power in our words? What are you going to use that power for today? I think today, as soon as this video is over, use your words. Use your words to, do, to declare some things over your life. Use your words to speak some things into the atmosphere regarding your future. Use your words to declare that you are righteous and blessed and holy and favored and a child of God and that no good thing will be withheld from you and that blessings are coming to overtake you and that there is a mansion waiting for you in heaven and that every place you set your foot today is blessed. Maybe we should use our words a little bit more strategically today to create a world that we want to live in. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.